Hello everyone! Welcome back to FA Channel with Paris. Future is now. You see my face tracking today is slightly different. I'm not sure if you can notice a difference. We're testing a new app for face tracking. Instead of VC face with, with white IO, this is another app called iFacial Mocap. But the goal for this episode is not to introduce this iFacial Mocap app. It's another really great news that happening in VR chat right now is VR chat start to now support OSC. So OSC stands for Open Sound Control. So VR chat start to support of Open Sound Control, which means you can now track your face in VR chat. So you can start to have facial expression in VR chat. It's only on the desktop version, of course. It's it's gonna be very hard with a headset, but it is very interesting experiment you can play with. So in today's episode, let's dive into it, and I will introduce, show you the steps how it works. First of all, let me give some background about all these words that pop up right now. Even for me, it's a bit confusing, so I want to make sure you get it. OSC is that open sound control that which we always use as the VMC protocol. The VMC stands for Virtual Motion Capture. The VMC protocol is how the app that was using YDIO sending signals to VC face. Recently, a lot of people start to play with the OSC on VR chat. The goal is to make your VR chat experience more ex more immersive. For example, some people control the view of the VR chat with your desktop. There are tons of things that we can do with it. But in this episode, we particularly want to talk about how to have different facial expression, control your facial expression, doing almost like perfect sync like I do right now in VR chat, because. We have to thank for these Japanese creators that we find on Twitter. He or she, we're not sure, <laughs> created this app called VRC Perfect Syncer. Basically, what it does is to allow you to have perfect sync with your iPhone and then on VR chat. I'm not sure if you have the if you have the similar problem with me. Last week, no, last month, I had a chance to go to the VR VR world to visit a lot of people's toothbrush worlds. It was really fun. I went through maybe couple, like five worlds and I got really dizzy after like 40 minutes. So I realized I don't really have the tolerance. Like I'm very easy to get dizzy kind of person. So I realized if I can go to the VR chat, visit, uh, visit all this world with friends, but also can have my facial expression on. That will make me feel more connected to my friends and um, it will be very convenient to even like switch on and off from the headset to desktop. So I really want to figure out and I tried, it was really fun. And yeah, before I dive in, let's talk about what do we, what do you need to get ready for this? First thing you need is perfect sync applied avatar. And then the app I was talking about, eye facial mocap. Next one is the is this app the Japanese creator created, VC, uh, VRC Perfect Syncer. And then of course you need an iPhone. Now let's get started step by step, talk about how to make it happen. First step. Go to the booth website to download this, to download this VRC Perfect Syncer. The developer created two versions. One is paid version, one is free version. The paid version is around $10, which is not bad. If the free one you use, every three minutes you will stop. It's like every session only you can use for three minutes and then you have to open an turn it off and turn it on. It's not that hard to do it, but it's kind of annoying once you stay for a long time. So if you are, you love staying in the VR chat for a long time, I suggest you just get this for 
This package basically include two things. First one is a client that allow you to send signal to VR chat from iPhone. The second one is set upper. This set upper is basically to allow you to set up your avatar to be ready to use. So the second step we're talking right now is open Unity. Once you open Unity, just drop the VRC avatar SDK and your avatar file, and then the setupper to Unity asset. The next step, third step, is to set up your avatar to upload to VRChat. In this step, you don't have to set up everything, like, for example, lip sync or eye look. But there's one thing you have to set up is the view position. I'll show in the background, you will see what I mean. Because all these will be controlled by perfect sync. So if your avatar is already there and then ready to use, that's okay as well. Next step, the fourth step is to open the VRC perfect synchro window. There are two things you have to drop in this in this window, avatar descriptor and skin meshed render. These two things you have to drop there. Then click this setup. The setup is written in Japanese, but it means, yeah, it's set up. <laughs> and then what this setup is doing at this moment is to turn off all these unnecessary functions. All you need is this avatar that have all the all the perfect sync blend shapes. If you name the blend shapes manually, you have to start with lowercase. That's pretty important if you name these blend shapes manually. And now your avatar is ready to upload. So the fifth step, open control panel, VR chat SDK, then now you see sometime there will be a little error pop up. You just have to fix this error. For example, in our case, what we got is like the VRC expression menu is missing. You just have to go to the VRC avatar descriptor and under this expression, you will see the menu shows none. You just need to put the menu, the default expression, uh, you just have to change it to the default expression menu. Then the error is disappeared. So it could be some error pop up. If you have any question, you can let us know. Now you can uploading the avatar on VR chat. I'm sure some people have done it before. We're not going to go into how exactly to upload your avatar to VR chat. But once you finish up, you can go check my favorite part, go check in VR chat, try with your facial expression, how it looks is the best part. You now you have to start the VRC perfect sync client, and then start this app, iFacial, uh, Eye facial mockup. Put your iPhone for your perfect sync tra face tracking. And then at this moment, you have to put your iPhone local IP address. This is important. Put your iPhone local IP address on this client. Then on this app, this eye facial mockup, you have to set destination IP address to computer IP address. The goal is to connect the computer and iPhone through Wi-Fi. And I will show you in the background how this is working because it sounds a bit confusing. Now it should work. I hope, finger crossed. Because <laughs> at the beginning, actually we had some struggles there. We realized 
they're like it just seems not working for all, a bit then we realized um, we didn't enable the OSC in VR chat so that's something you have to do in the VR chat setting open the EX menu uh, and enable OSC so that's something you have to make sure it's enabled and otherwise you can't even use it right hey how are you mm. <laughs> how do you like this my head is not moving but <laughs> look at my face is tracking pretty well laughing mm. uh, nice yeah moving talking yesterday i tried to get on to other to talk to other people in the VR chat world but I find it a little bit creepy <laughs> just go there like hey hey yo what do you think about face <laughs> one guy is like it's good <laughs> they didn't even notice some of them so I was like maybe I shouldn't bother other people and I shouldn't share but anyway this is what it is hope you guys can try it woohoo okay option ah. just close menu Ta -da. Eh? it's still working that isn't even better what? no my head is moving look this is good. Wow, now my head is moving. Wow. Oh, this is even better. I like it even more. Like, see, it's more real. Before my head is not moving. Oh, that's good. Wow, see, at the button, enable, enable, like, enable button. You just play around. You can discover new <laughs> function. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Oh, this is even better. Maybe before it wasn't even working completely. Yeah, if you guys have other discovery, please let us know. Can you imagine if we have like hand tracking? This is legit. So good. Blinking. Hi, hi. <laughs> I think if I go yesterday, no, I'm not going to go. But maybe now if I go even more real because my head is moving. Hey, 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 hey. Nice. This is good. Right. Now you can control your avatar facial expression through your iPhone on desktop. Of course, some of you may ask, what if I wanted to be in VR with my headset? Mm. I think you'll have to get HTC Vive eye tracking and then the face tracker. And then like there's another app, not white IO. The same creator, the app is iDio, <laughs> using that app to track your face in VR chat. For now, this is great for a desktop user. And also, developer announced that he's working on something with Android phone. So hopefully that will come up soon. So you can use Android phone to track your face with on VR chat desktop. Maybe in the future we can use hand tracking in VR chat. Hopefully something, I'm pretty sure something will come up at this moment. Let's just hope for the developer will get something, <laughs> develop something for the Android phone. Oh, he's saying that he will, uh, supporting the, try to, try to develop supporting for the mail face that we talked about before too, for the Android phone face tracking. So that's something we've been, we will continue updating our video if that happens. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe our channel for new exciting updates. Yeah, so that's it for today's video. If you find it successful using it and what's the feedback? I want to know if that's something you've been looking for for a long time or you've been trying to do something like this and for, for a while. Please comment our video and let us know. If you have any questions, let us know as well. Join our Discord server. We'll 
yeah, answer as soon as possible. That's it for today's video. Have fun, enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye. Oh, and then tell me if you think this face tracking is better than the before. <laughs> I think it's almost the same. It's basically the same method. But the, oh, the app is like around 10 Canadian dollars as well. So yeah, keep that in mind. Anyway, talk soon. See you guys in the next video. Bye.